Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some great time together. We know that Islam is a religion of intelligence and Allah and His Prophet are the most smart ever known by mankind. And because they are so smart and because they are so genius This is happening. Please be honest and answer this question. Who dominates Speaker's Corner? Well, to be honest, with the amount of people that come, it's Muslims, like numbers. But with logical, Islam. Muslim. With logical? Islam? Muslims? We have to face it. Sorry for that. We lost connection for a second or a few seconds. I hope it's fine. So as you see, who dominate? How, how Muslim dominate anything? Numbers? And logic like numbers but with logical Islam Muslim mm. so you know I like it when uh, Lili Dawa speak about logic because I you know we have to admit nobody can defeat the logic of Mohammedans and always they are logical and everything in the religion is logical yeah what we can say let me tell you guys the crux of the matter because there are a lot of people and a lot of individuals who have tried to make people understand this and even push the narrative of these certain ex-Muslims, you know, that, you know, people uh, are leaving Islam because of this apparently, yeah? Uh, which I just heard one individual and most of his reasons were because you know, he had intimacy with a lot of girls or something. Like that. I don't think it was... Yeah, there's the, the Muslim, the, the Muslim he live, decided to leave Islam because of the intimacy of the other girls. The, the person... He decided to leave Islam because intimacy with other girls. Yeah, yeah. Speak faster, so when, so nobody will ask you who's that. I mean, what does this have to do even with topic? Like, tell us more about the logical. This issue at all? Yeah, it was more of his desires. Da, 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 da. This, that mm. we fall for this, and then what we try to do is, in return, is like I know. Let's try to bring it down to a logical level and try to explain it in a logical way. Now I've seen many people do these videos. Okay, many people. One of those was uh, was uh, Dr. Yasser Qadi. You know, the thing is now, it's Ramadan. I'm not here to talk about anybody. Please don't talk about... I mean, you just tripped the guy and you gave him a finger and I'm not going to talk about him. You just did like him. Oh, okay. He did not talk about him. Uh, etc. Okay? I don't want to make anything to ruin my fast, my Ramadan, etc. Oh, look how selfish he is. He didn't want to ruin Ramadan, but he want to ruin the reputation of the man. Okay. All I'm just saying is, obviously... There's a lot of things I don't agree with Dr. Yasser Qadi. Uh -huh. uh, and there's things I agree with also. Oh. So the thing is here, it's just I don't want to get into the details and the nitty-gritty. The point I'm trying to make is he also done a video hmm. on this matter. The point I'm trying to say and what I don't understand is this. Why? The point, that's what we want. Lily, please, for the shin of Allah sake, go to the point. Remember, you dominate the corner, speaker corner by logic. Go to the point. Why do we have to? understand everything in the context where why does it always have to be logical what the heck <laughs> shall we change the title call it how uh, lili dawa debunk lili dawa why does it have to be logical you just said a lot of people leave islam because of that so what is the solution the solution don't be logical so in one hand, those potatoes, they claim that Muslims, they dominate speaker corners by logic. On the other hand, he is saying the Muslims, we should not be logical at all. Why it have to be? Why even you want to understand? Are you stupid or what? You should not understand. We dominate the speaker corner by logic. Which we don't understand. Why do we have to understand everything in the context where why does it always have to be logical? You know, the funny is that Muhammad in the Quran, he said he made the Quran clear. 
فصلناه تفصيلا. So you know the Quran claim that this is very clear book. Hmm? Is that a failure from Allah? He just admitted that the book of his God is not clear. And Muhammad he made a false claim in the Quran because either it is uh, uh, you know uh, clear. Or it's not clear. If Allah explained the revelation, and then the revelation, after explanation of Allah, need the explanation of Ibn Kathir al Qurtubi al Tabari al Jalalain at the and there's the person he was in intimacy with other girls, and he did not believe it. Now. Okay, oh, hold on. So after the tafsir, which all of them don't agree with each other. And after Allah explained the Quran, the Quran is a stupid book. And Lili Dawa is asking the Muslims, why you need to understand everything? Huh? Why you want to even know you idiot? What's wrong with you? But the Quran says Allah, he made it, you know, clear. Isn't this your book, chapter 6, verse number 98? What the heck? Isn't it those your verses? Chapter 7, verse number 32, chapter 6, 126, chapter uh, 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 7, uh, 52, cha uh, chapter 7, 174, blah, 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 all of those verses. It turned to be, to be a Muslim, you should not understand. And if you are trying to be logical, you are doomed. But in the other hand, Lili Dawa, peace be upon her, claimed that the Muslim did dominate speaker corner by logic. Well, to be honest, with the amount of people that come, it's Muslims. Because you are in welfare, none of you have a job. Continue like numbers, mm -hmm. but with logical Islam, Muslims. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we should not be logical. A nation who they are one to one billion, which mean, so one to one thousand, which mean if we are human being one person, there's one thousand of Gog and Magog, yet we cannot find one of them. We could not even find one. And, you know, the funny is, some people, they try to understand. <laughs> Stupid. What do you mean you want to understand? Are you a donkey? You should not understand. Where are they? How could they stay in a cave for so long? What cave, you idiot? The Quran says in they are in the cave. Are you adding some chapter to the Quran now? Is it the Quran says behind the wall? Behind the dam? It become a cave now. Gog and Magog are in the cave. Look like Lili Dawa, she understood the Quran in her own way. Maybe she have different interpretation for the Quran. Against the Quran. If we go to the Quran and we, you know, See what the Quran is saying. Please don't love respect. Okay. Chapter 18, verse number 96. He built a dam, you idiot. Dam. Cave. Gog and Magog, they are in the cave. The caveman cave. So Lili Dawa is the one who is telling Muslims what happened. He changed the Quran and he made the dam into a cave. You know, actually, the word in Arabic it says Saddan Dam. Saddan. This is a translation of who? Uh, who? Sarwar. I don't know what kind of name is that, but anyway, whatever your name she. Your mom she did to you you deserve it so here you will see we you know we change the translator shall we we do not change the Quran 
right? Okay. Here it says a barrier. Let us see a different one. Barrier, barrier, brother, barrier. Yeah. Let us see. Uh, itani. Let us see if Elal Itani will say a barrier to it. Ah, you can, we can pay you to build between us and them a wall. And you know, the funny is that Zulkarnain, he just occupied their land and they are going to pay him. <laughs> hey, 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 Zulkarnain, listen, listen. We are going to make you a contractor for us. We are going to pay you if you build a dam, all of them, they become his slave. He is the king who occupied their land and they are going to pay him to build a dam. I mean, the guy, he take the, the women, the money, the gold, the sheep. Now we are going to pay you, brother. We are going to pay you if you build this dam. And by the way, we have to sign a contract. And by the way, it have to be a code, according to the code of Joe Biden. You know the thing. How this guy, he conquered them. And they are asking, and the funny is, it says here, until when he reached the point separating. What? What's separating? What's separating? It says, already there is two dams. I mean, this is stupid religion. You see the Muslim translation says, Separating the two barrier. It doesn't say barrier. It says said Dane said. Here we go. The same word translated as wall here. This is the same word as said Dane and said that is the same. Said Dane two said two said here one said. There until he arrived between the two walls. They ask him to build another wall to capture them behind the wall. And you know, here, uh, if we go to Lili Dawa, may Allah bless her. Uh, after we build a wall, how that will stop those nations from coming to us? Let us imagine that Gog and Magog is behind the wall of China and the Chinese from the other side. And imagine that the Chinese, when they built the wall, they were stopping Gog and Magog. Okay. But that will protect China only. We're talking protecting the whole earth, the whole world, the whole countries. So there is a wall between them and those guys, but are there walls around them from every side? Guys, do you see the stupidity of this story? Let me use my art for you. Uh, maybe I should open uh, Google Earth. <laughs> oh boy. You know, when I say stupidity is amazing, there is a reason. There's many reasons. Or maybe I need to use a Google browser to, to be able to make it function. Uh, Google Earth. I'm typing in Arabic again. Google Earth. The story, not only it doesn't make sense, it's a stupid to the bones. Stupidity is the major sign of a prophethood in Islam. Like how we know that Muhammad is a prophet? Because he's so stupid. How we know that Allah is so God? Because he's so stupid. How we know that the Quran author must be God? Because he's so stupid. So, this is the earth. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, Allah. It's not as you wanted to make it flat. So, this is Mrs. Earth. Peace be upon her. In front of us. So, let us say, Gog and Magog, let me zoom in, because most of you don't eat carrot like me, and you have a very weak vision. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. There's only two people in the world that have a strong vision. Lili Dawa, and I am the second. 
you know he's the first he can see things you cannot see so here let us say that this guy Zulk, the guy with the two horn I mean he don't even have a name a guy with the two horn why he's a cow mm. so let us say there is a mountain here Hmm? And this is a mountain here. We just covered the whole continent, you know, just to make it how big it is. Imagine we make it so big. The whole we cannot build the, mo the mountain in the water, so we took from the side to the side. Then Mr. Zul Qurnain, the guy with the two horn, he don't have a name. His mom, when she gave when she gave birth to him, she noticed they have, have two horn. In fact, the Muslim story says that this guy, when he converted to Islam, his families, they did hit him in his head and he have the first horn and Allah made him alive again. He came back again and he started teaching him about Islam. The, his family, uh, his people, they hit him again in his head and he had the second horn. And this is how you can have two horn. Very logical. Here we go. Now, Muhammadan explained the reason for the two horn. So, Mr. Two Horn, when he met those people who cannot understand the word, but suddenly they are engineers telling him what to do. He asked them to build a dam. So he said, okay, damn you. I'm going to build a dam for you, damn you people. So he built a dam here. Wonderful you. And now Gog and Magog, they are here. At the edge of the land, let us say. And now they cannot go anywhere. That's it. They cannot go. They cannot go around the wall. They cannot go to different continent. My friend, they are stuck. Who can beat this argument and this logic and this religion? You know, and you know, and then they say a lot of Muslims leave Islam because of the story. Every story in the Quran is stupid. Is it? Does it make sense that the King Solomon he died standing in a stake and nobody noticed he's dead? Then when I speak to a Muslim, he say, "Hold on, my mom, mom, my mom, she just gave me a text saying to me, your dad he died last year, and nobody noticed that he is dead because he was holding a stick. The guy he said to me doesn't make sense. What? 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 Your mom? She said, "Who oh, you what?" The second I say to him, it's in the Quran, it makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. A second ago, it's my my grandfather, you know, he died holding the stick. For a year, nobody noticed, because he's holding the stick. He starts laughing at me. The second I say it's in the Quran, oh yeah, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Nobody can beat Muhammadan with logic, we have to admit. You know, when you say to any stupid idiot, like we build a law in a wall between us, okay, the American they will build in a wall in the border between us and Mexico. But the Mexican they can go around the world still, and they can come to America still from different direction, from Canada if they want, <laughs> from the sea if they want. I mean, who is the stupid here? And now the wall have different structures which you are not used to. You see, Muhammad is a very high quality engineer. He uses steel and copper, which is very, 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 you know, good material to use to build a dam between you and them. So they ask him to build a dam. And then uh, Zulkarnain, because he is a dam builder, very well known constructor, you know. He is the one who built Colorado. Actually, why it's called Colorado? Colorado. Col in Arabic means all. Rado means take a ride. So, okay, Colorado. Let us ride all of us on the Colorado you know, River. So, you know, he built the Colorado Dam. The Zulkarnain, the guy with the two horn. They said, oh, Zulkarnain. The Gog and Magog are spreading kawas in the land. Kawas in the land. Can we pay you to build between us and them a wall? And you know, since then, thanks to those people, those are not seen no more. That's it. Once actually, I used to have a mice. I saw it in my backyard. I said to myself, how I can stop this mice? 
Hmm. So I decided to build a wall around my house. 25 foot wall. Then, how in the world this mice he was able to get into the other side, only Allah knows best. It looked like he can dig under the ground. So we build a wall. And people now, they can dig in rocks and they can destroy mountains. Oh, in the time of Gog Magog, they don't have, you know, you know, they have hammers. Still with hammers, you can. Didn't you see how the Pharaoh's tomb is made? How the Roman build majestic buildings from big, huge rocks? They are not using heavy duty machines, just hammers. Still, you can dig. And then the story go in more details that those people until now they are digging. So Prophet Muhammad once he came to his companion. This is before he died with the poison, by the way. Okay, like a rat. He came to his companion and he says, Wow, sorry. I'm so afraid. Today, 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 a, a little hole open in the wall. What, what? A little hole open in the hole. A wee to the Arab. A wee to the Arab. Muhammad making false prophecy. According to Muhammad, Gog and Magog are coming in his time. They are existing in his time. And they are opening the hole in his time, and he was terrified. Today, the wall of Gog and Magog has been opened so much. I'm so terrified. I'm so scared. And look what he claimed in this hadith. Who is even the one who opened Gog or Magog wall? Allah! What the heck? It's not people of Gog and Magog anymore. It's Allah, he's opening the, look, Allah is digging with him, man. Look like those Gog and Magog are Muslims. Allah, he opened the wall of Gog and Magog. If you read, if you watch every Muslim story, they will say to you, the Gog and Magog, they are digging because there's different hadith says they are digging. But, but each time they dig, Allah closed the wall on them. Why? Uh, or the hole they open at the end of the day because they forget and say, Inshallah. Remember when Mimi Hijab, he hang up on me and I asked him, why you did not say Inshallah? Many of you do not know how Inshallah have an impact in Islam because according to Muslim, if you don't say Inshallah, nothing can happen. Suleiman have sex with 99 women. He forgot to say inshallah. At the result of this, Allah gave him half child. Half, half, not a quarter. He just forget to say inshallah. He decided to, if, excuse me, 90 women, 99 women, just because he forgot to say inshallah, he could not make it happen. This is why Andrew Tate, he have big sign now in his pimp website. It says, Inshallah, you will be effed in our channel. Hmm? We continue. So Allah, he opened, he made an opening in the wall. What, which wall? Okay. As long as Allah, he made an opening in his wall. Where are they? We continue, we continue. Allah, Apostle performed the tawaf around the Kaaba. This guy is crazy. He could he go around himself. It was, you know, do you see the ants? Are they went tawaf? The Muslim, they make a fuzz about it. How the ants do went tawaf? You know, anyway. So he opened his hand. He said, Allahu Akbar. Zainab said, the Prophet says, an opening has made in the wall of Gog and Magog, forming the number 90. That's a big number. Okay. The Prophet. PBUH, this is a kind of a chemical. You cannot understand this unless you are Joe Biden. If you are Joe Biden or from his party, you will know exactly what PPUH. This is like a Chinese paying Hunter Biden, okay, for his art. Hmm. 
visited me one day frightened the guy is sort of what happened husband what happened Gog and Magog they are coming to the us la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah Gog and Magog they are coming to us what we should do what we should do oh what the heck the guy is terrified it turned to be there's nothing 1400 years after and there's no Gog and Magog he was terrified, he was in trouble, he is luck, what the heck? A wee to the Arab, a wee to the Arab, because an evil which has drawn near, false prophecy. Today, today, not yesterday, today an opening of this size has made in the barrier. False prophet. Stupid. Mental. Let us continue, let us continue. And then guys, Gog and Magog, by the way, all of those are true stories. I mean, you might hear somebody like he is a Christian or a whatever, you know, laughing at it because they are stupid. The messenger, he said, <coughs> the Muslim will use the bows and the arrows and the shield of Gog and Magog as firewood for seven years. Man, those Gog and Magog, they are outdated. You better go and my go sign in eBay. You can buy AK-47. Easy. You can buy a sniper rifle. So go and my go. We are waiting for them. They are going to use arrows made of wood. You see, the Muslim they cannot say now this metaphorical. Oh, this is mean. Uh, you know, missiles. You know. It says we will use them for food for seven years, not six, seven years. In seven years, we will go back to oil. Yes, Qatar is out of business for seven years. I mean, this is, that's so good. This is so beautiful. And you know, and like Muhammad, he keep like, he's warning them away to the Arab, frightened, scared, you know, like what the heck is that, man? Okay, so, Muhammad here, he came and his face was red. This is why the Muslim, they say Muhammad was blonde. His face was red. You know, if you are not very white, you will not get red. Hello? Unless you are spanked by Christian prince. So the prophet, he came, you know, what is the red color? I don't see the red. The prophet get up in his sleep and flushed Red face, yeah, it says it says red. I am right. Okay, so I apologize. I thought the Muslim they are hiding the word red. You know, uh, it says there flush red face, and said none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. We to the Arab from the great evil that is nearly approaching them. Today, 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 a gap has been opened. A gap has been opened of Gog and Magog like this, like this, like this, like this, like that. I mean, the guy, he can even see. He can see what you cannot see. This is why his mother took her four years to give birth to him after his father's death, because Allah was installing more features, radar, sensor, dimension measurement, underground, above the ground, satellite bird camera. I mean, you name it. So Muhammad, now he can see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> all those hadith are sahih and the Muslim what they can do with them all of them they are authentic all of them they are authentic hmm. and Muhammad he claimed <coughs> Muhammad he claimed that there is a signs of the day of judgment you know if you remember the Muslim they say Allahu Akbar scientists they said that in time there is time will come and the earth will go into rotate and the earth and the sun will appear from the west. This is mentioned in the hadith, brother. Hmm. Hey, Abdul, Abdul, according to your hadith, first of all, it's not true. Secondly, according to the hadith, it is the sun changing its direction, not the earth. The sun asks Allah permission to go back. Allah will not permit the sun to go back. It's not the earth. <laughs> Here we got you busted, Abdul. Unbelievable. Man, my hands is hurting me from spanking those Abdul every day. So we continue. Uh, uh, look at the signs of the Judgment Day. Okay, there is done signs of the Judgment Day. Okay. Uh, Gog and Magog. 
and then the false messiah and then smoke we, uh, people are smoking a long time ago you are late and number three the sun uh, is going to uh, 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 you know disappear in the in the uh, east, uh, west and come back in the in the west uh, sorry in the east and uh, the the Arabian Peninsula is going to go under the water ah okay you know it's going to be under the water all of it the Arabian Peninsula all right all right hmm. all of those are prophecy about Muhammad uh, and what he made but here you will notice Muhammad he said something very amazing Abshiru uh, let me hold on let me hold I want to I want to read this one for you hmm. this is this is very good news for the Muslims read the chapter title with me read what the chapter title Allah will say to Adam bring out of the portion of the fire 999 out of every thousand what bring out the portion of the fire 999 out of every 1000 I want you to take note about what they said in here right hmm. let us see what Muhammad is talking about the message of Allah he says the high glorious would say to Adam and he would say at the sir at your service sir at your service uh, at the back and uh, at, at the back and call O Lord and good is in the hand Allah would say bring forth the group of the dozens of a fire uh, he Adam <coughs> would say uh, who are they who are they? The dozens of hell, huh? Who are they? And then Allah will say to him, They are out of every 1,999. Like, what the heck? From every 1,999? That means there's only one person? Just one. And look what happened. The Holy Prophet says, It is at this injecture, that every child would become white-haired and every Britannic woman would abort <clears throat> okay uh, but then after he said that the Muslim they get scared like what the heck from every 1000 of us there's 99999 will go to hell what <laughs> So Muhammad was speaking to 70 men. If every 1,000, 999,999, they will go to hell. If, who, is, who is the one will go to heaven now? Nobody. But look what happened. <clears throat> so when people, they heard this, the Muslims, uh, they said to Muhammad, uh, they, they suffer from depression effect upon what he said upon this the companion of the holy prophet they said to Messenger of Allah who amongst us would be the unfortunate person so here they are saying the opposite 999 will go to heaven one one person will go to hell will stay in hell so they are already in hell you know already in the thousand actually according to this now already they are in hell but there's only one person who will be left in hell look what will happen now who would be doomed in to hell? He said, "Good tidings for you, yeah, Jews. Jews would be those one thousand. Look, what the heck? It turned to be not them. Remember, in the beginning, he says it from the sons of Adam." And he is telling them that they will go to hell, all of them, but only one will stay there. And now he's saying, he said, good tiding for you. Yeah, Juju and Juju would be those 1,000 who would be 
in the people of hell. And a person selected for paradise would be amongst you. Anyone can make sense of the stupidity? Let us go back a little bit. You hold on, hold on. Muhammad, he says, Allah, he said to Adam, take from every 1,000, 999 nine out from the people of the, the, the hell, take them out of the fire. fire. Hmm? There's 1,000 people they are in the fire. If you read the number here, actually, it says from every 1,000, 999, right? So it's not complete 1,000. But if you continue reading, you will see the contradiction. But let's continue. So Allah would say, bring forth the group of the fire. Okay, those are group of fire. Adam, he says, who are they? The people of fire. Allah will say to him, they are out of every 1,999. So now what we understand, that there's 999, there are people of fire. The Holy Prophet said in this in, in juncture that every child, etc., we will come white, the women, she will drop her baby, blah, 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 blah. And then the people, they got so depressed. And look what happened here. They said, who is the unfortunate person? Who will stay in the fire? But what do you mean who will stay in the fire? Let us read carefully what it says in the top. They are out of every 1,999 people. That's mean already all of you are in the fire. Are you happy that you will be in the fire? And then Allah will make you a barbecue like for 10 million century. And then he will get you out supposedly. You're lucky now. So now we know that Muhammad and all of them, they will go to hell. But now Muhammad is going to explain it because after Muhammad, he saw that they are upset. Muhammad, he decided to change the story. He switched it. It was not you. It is them. In the beginning, it was children of Adam. After that, it's not you. It is them. So look at what happened. So he said, when he saw the depression, very depression effect on them, the companion, they said, oh Allah messenger, who amongst us would be the unfortunate person who would be doomed in hell? He said, good tiding for you. Good tiding. Yeah, Juju Jews would be those thousand who would be in the distance of hell. Guys, anyone notice the stupidity? Who wanna who wanna help me? Who wanna help me? Help me, please. I wanna see how many of you are thinking carefully what Muhammad's saying. Maybe Lady Dawa can call us and help us to understand what happened. Anyone notice the mistake? I know there is a delay in the chat, but I will give you time to the chat to be appeared. The one thousands, he just said, nine hundred ninety nine nine from them, and one from you. But now he's saying the one thousand, all of them, they are from Gog and Magog. Do you see it? Didn't he just say 999999 and one one will, will, will stay there? Okay, hold on. So the one who will stay there is what? Is a human. And he is from them. Okay. But now he confirmed that the 1,000, all of them, they are Gog and Magog. It's in the front of you. 
Yajuj wa Ma'juj would be those 1,000. But now we have 1,001. Are you following? The number is changing. Because if it is, if you know, it was out of 1,999. Now, all the 1,000 are Gog and Magog. <laughs> Muhammad, when he noticed that those people are so upset, he wanted to fix it. Like, what the heck? They are upset. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. They will go to hell. I just told them, what? what? You know? Okay, don't worry. Hold on. Okay, okay. You know what? 1,000 from will be from Gog and Magog and one from you. You know, thank God Muhammad is not working as an accountant because now the number changed. It's 1,001. If all the one, the beginning of the hadith says what? That 999, read carefully. I'm not making things up. What Allah he said, look look at the title, look at the title. Bring out the portion of the fire. 999 out of every thousand. Very simple. And then Muhammad trying to fix it. And he says 999.9, supposedly in the story. Uh, they are going to, you know, be released. One will stay there. And who is this one? From them. But, but from what number? From 1,000. <laughs> now he's saying, 1,000 they are Gog and Magog. That means the Muslim are Gog and Magog. Do you understand what I'm saying? If one is going to be from them, and the 1,000, all of them, they are Gog and Magog. Read carefully with me. This is how stupid this, this, this man is. So, how many there are Gog and Magog? Read with me. That's not my translation. I'm not reading in Arabic. Good tidings for you. Yeah, Juju wa Majuj would be those one thousand, the thousands. Oh, okay. Who will be the desert of her? Oh. Actually, here, the Muslim, by the way, did not eat the, add the word one it says here in Arabic al 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 fan al fan one thousand al fan see it one thousand maybe the translator he tried to fix it so he can say with thousands we're talking about one thousand you idiot and here in Arabic it says one thousand the number now doesn't make sense at all we can actually uh find the hadith in different place just for fun just to show you how Muslim they try to duct tape the stupid prophet, peace be upon him. You know, he is the most smart prophet ever. Okay, so here it says, The news distressed the companion prophet too much, and Allah apostle among us uh, will be that man, man, the lucky one out of the thousand who will be saved from fire. So, what the Muslim understood. Only one man will be out of the fire. Only one man. In the other translation, they make us understand the opposite. So only one man, he will get out of the fire. Read the translation, not my translation. So the news stressed the companions of the prophet too much. And they said, who, uh, who is amongst us will be that man, lucky one out of the 1,000 who will be saved from the fire. So he will be saved from the fire. He said, good news that 1,000 will be from Gog. Ah, now we get them busted. It's 1,000. You see, the same hadith. They change it in the previous one, says thousands. No, doesn't say thousands. 1,000 will be from Gog and Magog, and the other one will be one from you. Do you see why we say Islam is stupid? Let's read the title. 
You can read it. Let me let me give you the hadith, give you the link so you can save it in your reference and love. Uh, and that means that Muslims are Gog and Magog. You know what I mean? Because Muhammad considered them part of Gog and Magog, especially in the previous hadith. This story made a lot of Muhammadan leave Islam, left or right. For it's so obvious it's stupid. Not just because it's stupid, like the stupidity is so obvious. The issue of Ya'juj and Ma'juj is actually, for our modern times, I would say, one of the most, if not the most problematic of the signs of Judgment Day. And it has caused many of our youth to question, to doubt. I myself have met people that have actually left Islam because of these types of tales. Did he, say, did he just say he met many Muslims who left Islam because of this type of tales? This type of tales. And then Yasser Qadhi because he made his video trying his best to be logical. The Muslim, they smear him. They frame him. He's a kafir. He's a false. Don't listen to him. He's a donkey. He's not even a Muslim. We heard that he worked for a Christian prince. Actually, we heard that he is his driver. Some rumor says that he used to work with the Christian prince when Christian prince was the leader of the CIA in China. All kind of rumors, which is true. Just because he said, well, this story doesn't make sense. And each one of you try to come with a uh, with solution for it. Maybe they are under the ground. Maybe they are in the cave. Maybe they are hiding. Maybe they are wearing hats. What the heck? What do you mean wearing hats? The one you buy from Amazon, you wear it, you disappear. By the way, there's no such a thing. I'm just joking. I know many of you will believe in those things then. Where are they? So he starts saying to them, well, you know, good luck if you can find a solution. In the same time, uh, he said, I mean, I, like he's an engineer, I, I guess he said in the video. Uh, there is no way there is a wall somewhere and we did not find it. And there is a nation, a huge population like that, and we cannot see them. The conclusion is, the whole story is a lie. It's coming from fictions people believe before Islam. And Muhammad, because he's an idiot, isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad is an ear? Muhammad is an ear. Well, what does that mean? Mr. Ear, anything he hear, he put it in the beer. Muhammad is an ear. Tell him any story, anything, Mickey Mouse. If you saw him a cartoon of Mickey Mouse, he will make a chapter, it's called Mickey Mouse chapter. I'm telling you, Mr. Ear is ready. Just tell him anything. This is chapter 9, verse number 61. It says, the people, the Arab, they said Muhammad is just nothing but an ear. What they meant here is an insult. Even it says here they are hurting him. Hurting him by saying what? This guy is just an, a, you know, a copy-paste. He hears a story from somebody. He takes it. He put it in his book. He is nothing but he is an ear. The translation here even doesn't say it. Uh, it says actually a word. He is lending his ear. That's false. He is an ear. You tell him a story. Then suddenly the story will become part of Islam. I will give you an example. Before we made a video about something called al jassasa Anyone remember? al jassasa Okay. What al jassasa When Muhammad he learned about al jassasa Any Muslim can tell me? Is it from Allah? Is it from Jibreel? Or a Christian guy, he came to Muhammad and he told Muhammad a story. He himself experienced. 
محمد يتوكل هي اكسبتد هي ببلشت تكبير The story in front of you. The Messenger of Allah said, one day from the pulpit when some people were selling in the sea, their food were vanished and an island appeared to them. They went out seeking bread. In the island they were seeking bread? I think those Arab they were like pizza people, you know? Like not seeking food, seeking bread. Come on, bread, you know. Hey guys, let us go to that island, get the bread, okay? <laughs> because I, I, I want to have some loop. <laughs> and they were met by a Jassasa, the Antichrist spy. What the heck is that? Tom Cruise, James Bond. Fiction movie. Where the American hero, he don't get even shot. And if he's shot, like nothing, you know? I mean, you cannot kill the American uh, actor. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> the director will resurrect him again in two seconds. So, what? They, they want to get the bread. They are lost in the sea. And they wanted to get the bread. And what they met with who? I mean, she is a spy, but she is yet appearing to them. A spy who appear? And a spy is, a, is the spy who live in an island in the middle of nowhere spying at who? <laughs> hey guys, I decide to spy at the Chinese. So I'm going to go to an island nobody live there. Because there I can listen to all the Chinese talk, man. Okay? I'm a spy. I will spy at you. I will go. I will go to a place where you are not there, so I can hear you. What the heck is that? So, brothers, they met the spy, and her name is Ajassasa. What Jassasa mean? Coming from the word Jesus. What Jesus mean? Spy. I said, Oh Abu Salma, what is a Jassasa? He replied, A woman trailing the hair of her skin and of her head. I knew it. Hairy women, they must be spy. I was always wondering why some women are hairy. Some of them, they are hairy booter. Some of them, they are hairy Arab, like my people. But in my heart, I have a feeling that hair is connected to spine and the science of a spine. Like how you, you know, like you hear now these days, they put sensor and those things, you know? <laughs> now we know. So the hair she have is an antenna, a lot of hair, to the point she cannot even differentiate between her front and her back, as the story will say later. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm sure many of you are convinced, and you know, you like to convert to Islam right now, good for you, and Allah will make your penis in this, which is not good for me, because if you break my window with your penis, you are really going to be sorry. I'm going to cut it pieces, make it chooses, and give it to the dogs of the neighbor. I promise you, endless penis is not allowed in my town. I mean, when Muhammad he got this endless penis thing, okay, you know, Muhammad he don't believe in fiction, so you know, his guy is he's, he's, he's not delusional. So, okay, so now Muhammad is talking about the Jassasa, how she looked like. They went in the island to find the bread. It's very normal these days at that, that, that time. You go to find the bread in the oh, it says the Eith, brother. Okay, we will show you something strong. Forget about the Eith. Here we go. This is Sahih because the Muslim will say, What? This is Daif. Daif, we got him. We got him busted. Good time breath. First of all, the hadith you know that in a Daif. As I can like, hold on. The same hadith as Hassan is that is good. So how it is Daif in the same time, it is good in the same time. All Muslims are crazy. You give two grade for the same story. One it says authentic, and the other one it says not authentic. Yeah, because in that story, he did not tell us how long her hair. Hmm. So guys, hold on. This is the one who told Muhammad the story. His name is there in front of you. His name 
His name is Tamimu Dari. Who? Tamimu Dari. He is even a Christian. He told Muhammad a story. Muhammad, he took it, he started it to everybody. He believed it. He's an ear as a chapter 9, verse number 61 saying. And now it's part of the Islamic religion. Here the story is longer. We can make a book about it. Narrated to me from etc. from etc. from etc. from etc. from etc. from brum 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 Let's go to the cheese, you know. Forget about. I mean, the story is really mixed up. Look here, here. Hold on. Hmm. He narrated to me who this guy who is a Christian, a Christian, who came and accepted Islam. The guy he just accepted Islam now. And now we take the story he told us and we make it for granted. Why? Because obviously this is for fraud. He told him, Prophet, I heard that the Jal is speaking about you. What? He spoke about me in the story? That's true story. And then here we go. He told me something which agrees with I what I was telling you. It's agree with it. I am the Prophet of Allah. You about the Dajjal. Ah, about the Dajjal. He narrated to me that he had sailed in a ship along the third with 30 men. Not 40 thieves and Alibaba. Okay. Of Abani Lakum and Bani Jadam. I mean, they, even they count the tribe. And then he had been tossed by the waves. Whew. Waves, waves, tossing you. Shame on shame on shame on you. The wave throw you in the land. And you do not know where are you. By the waves in the ocean for a month. But uh, Muhammad, uh, people don't live in the ocean. That is not the ocean. The Sea of Jeddah it have nothing to do with the ocean. But anyway, then these waves took him, took them near the land, which the ocean island. And at the time of the sunset, look, I mean, look at the coincidence, sunset time. This is sunset time when there's a Jassasa who is a female. She take a suntan because she is covered by hair. She want to take a suntan, you know, normal, you know, okay. They sit in a small boat. What? How he was towed to an island and now they are taking another boat. So they can go to the island. So now they took another boat. So they can enter the island. There was a beast with long thick hair between two brackets. And because of this, which means the hair, could not distinguish his face from his ass. What? His? Is it female or male? Uh, what? Who? Is in the previous hadith it says it's a female? And now it's him, it's a it's a male. Now we know why the Democrats are going not about transgender. It was he, she. I know it. It is he, she. He, she, she, he. Nobody knows he. Who's he? Who's she? Who dare even care? Oh boy. And then they said, Are we to you? Who can you be? What the heck? What are rude people coming to tell you to take bread? And now they are insulting the. And then she said, At Jassasa. I am a Jassasa. Thereupon they said, Huh? She said, uh, I am a Jassasa. They said, What, what, uh, what is a Jassasa? Huh? Huh? It said, it said, shouldn't you say she said? Or maybe he said. O oh, people, go to this person in the monastery as very much eager uh, to know about you. Oh, there's a guy in a monastery. He's a monastery guy. <clears throat> He's not speaker corner where the Muslim dominate logic. No, 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 no. He's a monastery. He, the narrator, the one who told Muhammad the story, he said, when it named the person for us, we were afraid. 
for at last it should be the devil. Oh, I have a feeling about this. Doesn't sound good. Shall we go? Maybe we should not. You know what? I think we better go. But do we have any other option? We need bread. Pepsi. I think we should go. Go not to go. That is the question. And every one of you have a question. Who is this guy in the cave, in the monastery? Who is he? That can be told to you if you subscribe to our channel and you give us 1,000 click and then 1,000 and click, may Allah and click on you. And if Allah and click on you and click on you, you will be the clicking man who is going to be clicked by Allah and chosen to be a prophet. Because all you want you to do, just be hypocrite, liar, idiot, stupid, and you are perfect for the job. End of commercial break. Then we hurriedly went until we come to the monastery and found a well-built person. Oh, hold on. Is that, are you talking about Muhammad Hijab? He think he is well built, but he is full of beef. I mean, this guy, this stripper, he take, keep taking take off his shirt. Are you, what? There's no other one person he is well built. It turned to be the uh, Muhammad Hijab is the, the jail. What? Muhammad, he, Mimi. There is someone is competing with you or this is you. Be honest with me. Huh? He shaved his butt to make a show. I mean, this guy, he's looking for any excuse to take off his T-shirt. And he think, by the way, you have a body. So, while well-built person with his hands tied to his neck. Oh no, this is not Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab, his hand tied to his pocket by the Niglasid. This is a different person. Sorry, Hijab, I was misunderstanding, you know? And then with his hand tied to his neck, having iron shackles between his two legs, up to the ankle, we said, we upon thee, who are you? He said, hmm. <laughs> you would soon come to know me. You would soon come to know me. But tell me. Who are you? We said, we are people like Ali Dawa. Oh, 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 your voice is funny. We embark upon the boat, but the sea waves had driven us one month, and we thought ooh, as near the island ooh, we got into boat. If you are a person who is suffering from phobia regarding swimming in the ocean, please contact us. We have the solution. Neglaseed. Neglaseed can survive you from anything, even if you are drowning. Because before you drown, the Prophet Muhammad says, you take the Neglaseed and you will be like Negla. And you will be seeding everywhere. Buy it from Mimi Hijab before it's too late. He have the last Neglaseed in the world. End of commercial break. The story is so amazing, man. And then the story continue, you know. And here it says, hold on. Uh, when they are leaving, okay. Uh, it says here, we got in the side. Oh, they are telling him what happened. We got into the boats and entered the island. And a beast met us with the 
profuse, pro, profusely thick hair, and because of the thickness of his hair, uh, face could not distinguish his back, which means from the front. Like they're telling the whole story, what happened? They met a person, the person told them, and this person is a beast, and this beast is talking. And we ask her, like they tell exactly, she said, I am a Jassasa. They said to her, Who is your Jassasa? And then she said, Go to the monastery and meet this person. And then this guy, he starts asking questions, you know, and then just to, you know, to go to the cheese. We will find here we arrive to Gog and Magog. You know? Gog and Magog. They will eat, they will drink the water of Tabaraya. So Muhammad he took all this story from a person. He was a Christian, he became a Christian, become a Muslim. No witnesses. No fact to check. His God did not confirm. Jibreel did not tell him anything. Just a story by a man. And now become a major belief in Islam. Can you believe the stupidity of religion? Muhammad is a fraud. Any story he hear, he put it in his book. Gog and Magog, they are so huge in number to the point they will drink the water of Tabaraya. Let me show you the hadith. The guy, he said to them, did Gog and Magog drunk the water of Tabaraya? Does it still have water there? They said, yeah, yeah, still there is water. Ah, soon they will drink it. Soon they are going to drink it. And here, the jal he can cut a person to pieces and he can make him he, he can put him together why is god you know if we go down here you will see let me give you the, the link so you can save it in your reference too and now you get an idea how you can be a prophet anyone tell you a story take it copy it put it in your you are watching too many movies Take any movie, Chinese movie, say people flying in Chinese movies, like they can jump from tree to tree. I tried to do that, almost I broke my leg, you know, just trying to do what the, you know. Gog and Magog and the Bible, the Gog and the Magog and the Bible is a location, it's not even people. Gog and Magog is where is the land of Gog and Magog. We do not know exactly where, but this is not what the story is saying. Muhammad, he added his own fiction story, have nothing to do with the name everything Muhammad he said by the way is a is a is a theft from somebody everything but because this guy he take any story anything you can make a story right now about a Jassasa as he said and add Muhammad to it a Jassasa ask you hey, is Muhammad came to the Arab you go to him Muhammad Muhammad oh it, that will serve my purpose or, look it's not me the guy he said that it's true I have a witness you know so here you will see how Muhammad speaking about Gog and Magog and how those people will drink the water of Tabaraya because they are so huge in number so this Dajjal he said to them and when Allah sent Gog and Magog, they would have sworn down from every slop. This is a verse in the Quran. This is a verse from the Quran. Min kulli hadbin yansulun. This is a verse in the Quran.
how it is in the story. So the Quran is copying the story and making a story in the Quran, not only in here. If you go in the Quran, see it? Exactly what it says there. There was swift, swiftly swarm from every mound. And you know, I have to say, I'm very grateful for this Christian man. Maybe he is, you know, I can, what I can say is a liar, obviously. But his lie helped us today Maybe this is not his purpose to, to, to uh, you know, maybe he is just trying to get closer to Muhammad, making up a lie about being in an island and, uh, you know, to expose this man who the Muhammad and they worship him. You know, if you remember when uh, 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 David Wood asked Mimi Hijab about why Muslims are fighting over his spit, what Mimi Hijab he said? He says that the prophets, they, they played, you know, they tried to get his hair and the spit and these things. Okay, well, if you think spitting on someone makes you a god, well, that's what it implies. And I wonder why you look at every other verse of the Bible as implying that Jesus was God. Because for you, a spit. <laughs> See, those cowards, they do mockery in order to avoid the question. He is asking you why you are collecting his spit if he's not God. So he confirmed that the Muslim, they lick the piss of Muhammad, they drink his piss, they eat his shit, and they, they fight over his spit. But yet they're saying they, are, they don't believe in Muhammad to be God. Do you see how they avoid the answer for a very serious question? Mockery. But he just admitted by saying that, that the Muhammadan, they collect the spit of Muhammad and they fight over it. And the same they do for his stories. If they are collecting the spit of Muhammad, all the shitty story of Muhammad is there. And they kill you for the sake of those shitty story. If people are fighting over a spit and a shit of a prophet, is he a prophet? Do we have any Muhammadan here? You have a comment? to say about what we said they would like to join me in Skype live on air open challenge by the way did any of you made a short video of the previous video we made about Lili Dawa until now I did not receive any of you even doing that while many of you they promised they would do that they will make a short video about Lili Dawa debunking Christianity I did not see any short video if you did send it to me in Patreon I will post it for you and that will help your channel too. Do we have any Muhammadan? May they, may they, may they. So as you see, Muhammad, because he's a fool, I'm very grateful that he's a fool. Because he copies stories. None of them make sense. Stupid stories, not even good for kids. He helped us in a major way to expose himself as a false prophet issue of Ya'juj and Ma'juj is actually for our modern times I would say one of the most if not the most problematic of the signs of judgment day and it has caused many of our youth to question to doubt I myself have met people that have actually left Islam no way Yes, Arkadi, you must be kidding me. You personally met people who left Islam and you did not practice the head of apostasy on them? What you say to them, man? I understand your situation. You met people who left Islam by yourself. I mean, they have, they are not ashamed. They come to you and they say to you, what? how in the world we can believe in such a garbage, man? 
Do you see why we laugh at the Quran and Muhammad religion? Nothing but fairy tales. Tell Muhammad a story. He add his spice to it sometime. And sometime they add some spice to it. Hmm? If he is false, I still follow him over you. Hey, my friend, uh, just to show you how Muslim they refute me. That is a very strong refutation. <clears throat> so this Muhammad is saying, if he is false, I still follow him over you. My friend, this is why your name is the, the one true Muhammadan. <laughs> You are the only one true Muhammad and the rest are potatoes. But my friend, you still follow him. Do you clean your ass with the three rocks? You don't. Make a video. Do you drink camel urine as he order you? You don't. Make a video. Do you dig the fly in your soup and you swallow it? You don't. Make a video. Do you take a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage stink in it? You don't. Make a video. So talk is cheap. Action is required. You don't. You don't follow Muhammad in anything. Because none of what you do is make sense. This guy is obviously mentally ill. I challenge you right now, or you can we can prepare for it. Go and get a dead dog. Your wife or blood from period drags with them. And some garbage, stinky garbage, have to be stinky, as the hadith says. And then, open your camera. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to ask you to take off your clothes. No, no, we don't want to strip these like Mimi Mimi hijab. You know, no, no, no. Just dump yourself inside the water in your shower top, as the Prophet did. And then I will believe that you are following Muhammad. None of you do that. You Muslim, you spend billions of dollars every year buying perfume to drink it as alcohol, by the way, not to put it on you. If you go and check right now, how many Saudi did die every, every year from drinking perfume? They drink what? Perfume. And they die. So, if you are a true believer, you follow the stop of them. And, and the funny is, they say they, they say they are Sunni. Sunni is the one who followed the steps of Muhammad, whatever he did. But they don't do. None of you do. Isn't it the Prophet says music is haram? You watch music, dancing, clip, you know, porn. Oh, actually, porn is halal, sorry. I take that back. Even the Prophet, he allowed the Quran. Chapter 24, you can do be a pimp, like Andrew Pimpy, the pinky guy. Hmm? So you Muslims are liars. You don't do practice Islam, you know, none of you. You are, um, you know, Mimi Hijab, he wear uh, jeans, have holes. Go and see his interview with uh, Yasir Qadi. Fashion jeans, have holes. Have you ever heard of a man respect himself? Growing man, not, not, not a teenage. Wearing jeans have holes in it? Maybe it's the rat, you know, eat it. Because he's poor, maybe. You, know, you never know. Yeah. But this is your prophet. Obviously meant to the earth. The, until now we have zero Muhammadan text in us to refute us and by the way you notice about my self talk I say us because I'm like Allah I have Safranidza Safranidza Allah is one brother but Allah he keeps saying we us etc you ask the Muhammadan right away they give you the answer the answer is ready brother sitar Allah he said us he don't mean us he speak about himself as his majesty, like a king. The king is dead, we. Because he's majestic. So Allah, he don't like himself to be I. He feel himself disrespected by saying be one. So he like to be fake, fake we. When the king, he say we, he speak in the name of his kingdom, all and the nobles who chosen him to be king. That's why he say we the king. Allah, he say we, copying the human being so he can live, ele elevate himself. That means Allah is not satisfied with being one. He liked to be many, but too bad. The copy machine is not working. Even when Allah, he say we, 
You see, the God of the Christians say us. Yes, say us. The word Elohim does not mean God as one. Go check it out. Even though we believe in one God, but that is resemble the Trinity. Allah, he say, we what? For what? Are you God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit? No. So why are we? Oh, I am not satisfied with being I, so I like to be E. We are the one who send. We who? Company, corporation. Even Joe Biden don't make those mistakes. A teenage kid, he asked him in Ireland, he asked uh, uh, Joe Biden, what is the steps for success? He said, uh, stay away from COVID. <laughs> Imagine a teenager asked me how to be successful in life. I say, stay away from Kevin. You know, <laughs> oh boy. I mean, the one who made the Quran and Joe Biden, they are coming from the same tribe. They are ancestors. For their DNA stupidity is beyond imagination. We have sent down to you, Muhammad, the book. We who? Mr. We, we. Anybody can tell us how Allah become we? The we, we God? I mean, it's not enough that your God, Allah, is a yo-yo. He keep coming every day, every night. Every night, Allah come down. They ask Lili Dawa, if you watch my previous video, uh, how Allah come down every, you know. Uh, brothers and sisters, yes, Allah come down. How he come down? Allah, 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 <laughs> Allah. <laughs> but he is the same person who said in his video, God cannot be inside his creation. But this is the same guy who said, Allah enter his creation. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, what a comedy. Brothers and sisters. Allah do not enter his creation. And then the Abduls, they tried to cover up what he said. They said, what are you talking about, man? And this Abdul, he struggled trying to fix it, but he make it more blind. So he want to get Ali Dawa by saying, Allah don't enter his creation, by saying, well, Allah, nothing like him. What does this have to do with entering his creation, you idiot? Nothing like me too. Huh? Is that how you fix it? Allah, God cannot be inside his creation. Who, who, who? Santa Claus. Uh. The Trinity in one minute? Well, it's very simple. They believe the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These are all gods, but they are not the same as each other. So the point here is that if you think about it, they are all dependent on each other. Yeah. So if something is dependent on something else, it cannot be a creator. They are dependent. They are dependent. If you are dependent, you cannot be a creator. First of all, this is false. Secondly, well, Allah, he depend in everything he do in somebody else. Jibreel, Muhammad, Ben, Tablet. Everything Allah He do depend in somebody else. In fact, Allah do nothing. Do you see the stupid logic? The Messiah said, "My Father work and I do work also." He have his work, I have mine. What depend? What depend? 
stupid idiot liar. And then he tell you about the cheese of everything, which you all need to know, you know, about logic. Where, where he said that, uh, because uh, Allah says in the Quran that woe to those who change the scriptures with their own hands and say this is from Allah. That's wonderful. Those who change the scriptures from their hand and they say it's from Allah. And that was about a Jew. He put his finger over the Torah, not about changing the Torah. In fact, Muhammad himself, he took an oath in the Torah. He said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. And the Quran in tons of verses confirmed the Torah and the gospel. The fraud of Muhammadan is beyond imagination. Same time when a Muhammadan like this, he said that the Torah or the gospel changed, he forgot that he is giving a finger to Allah because this is the book of Allah according to Muslims. So when a Muhammadan accused the Bible, you will see some many Christians, they start defending, don't laugh at them and say, oh, the Bible of Allah is changed. That is a clear reason not to believe in Allah because if Allah is the one who sent the book and then anyone can change the book, then this God cannot protect his book. Do I agree? Who is the one who sent the Bible? The Muhammadan, they will tell you. Allah. Okay. And now you are trying to convince us that the book of Allah is corrupted? So the, this is the problem of who? My problem? If we type right now the word Injil, which is Muhammad getting himself busted by choosing it to speak about the book of the Messiah, because Muhammad, he claimed that Jesus, he was sent to the children of Israel. So why the book is in Greek? And remember, the Muhammadan is saying, Jesus speak Aramaic. So even the word Injil is not Aramaic. Allah, he chose the word Injil because this is what he knew. He do not know better. The most popular copy, it was the Greek one. So Injil. So Allah looked like Allah, he was sending the book in Greek to the Jews. But as you see, all of those in yellow, all those verses saying that Allah, he sent down the Injil and the Muslim, they tried to convince us that the Injil of Allah is corrupt. But the same stupid Quran says that Allah is asking the Christians and the Jews to follow the Injil, which is exist in the time of Muhammad, and it must be true in order to follow it. You cannot follow, you cannot ask them to go and follow the book, which is corrupted. In fact, there is a verse in the Quran where Allah uh, said, let the people of the in jail, specifically the Christians, judge by it in the time of Muhammad. You see, in the time of Muhammad, and you say to me, judge by the Injil, that means the Injil we have is approved. Not only that, in the verse after it, it says, Muhammad confirming the scriptures which is between his hand. The Muslim translation says, Scriptures came before it. That's a lie. In Arabic, it says, "Ma lima bayna yadayhi." Bayna yadayhi. Bayn mean between yadayhi, his hands. The translation, they lie. So the Quran confirm our book. However, you confirm our book or not, we laugh at you because now, because you are a thief. You stole our book name. You put it in your Quran and you claim it's coming from Allah. Now you are the one who have a problem. Because the one who the book belong to is the one should be protected. Do you see it? In fact, Muhammad even, he have no shame to copy Tons of the parable of Jesus, and he claimed it to be in part of the Quran. As an example, the story of the seeds. Muhammad is a thief. 
But all of us, we knew that this has nothing to do with Allah. That's what Jesus said. The story of the wheat. Muhammad is nothing but a thief. And we can show you tons of his stories. So when those potatoes, they, they accuse the Torah and the gospel to be corrupted, which is against their stupid Quran, and the verse he quote for us is about people changing location of words. It is them who change it. And all the Muslims agree that the Quran was not given to Muhammad the way we have it today. And there's many versions of it. And the funny is, you will see someone like Zach and I say to you, the Bible according to James, James uh, King James, Bible according to this, according, this is translation. But all of them, they have to translate from the manuscript. You see how they lie? They don't consider a translation is a version of the Quran. Why? Because they knew none of the translation been done in the purpose to be honest. The purpose was to deceive. This is why we cannot find, like, you know, if I type like, the word in the translation here, in the, in, in the website, how many translations say in between his hands? None. Zero. Chapter 2, verse number 97. Okay, how many translations says believing in what is between his hands? Let us see, maybe we can find one. See, they said confirming what went before it. But this is not what the verse is saying. Why you are saying confirming what before it? There's a huge difference. In Arabic it says, بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Between his hands. How between his hands become what comes. What it says here in Arabic. In the page. And you can do the same. مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Alright? Let me copy Lima Bainayadehi. This is the cheese of the thing. And I will take it to Google Translation in the front of your eyes. And this is a blind software. Then you need to ask yourself where why the word hands disappear? Why the word between his hands disappear? Do you think this has happened by mistake? That all the translation they took it off? No. They took it off because that is going to be a problem. He is confirming the Torah and the gospel between his hands. So all the lies that Muhammad and they say that our book is corrupted when Muhammad he came is absolutely a lie. There is no way a person he have a dignity, he will change the meaning. You see, the, the, the verse uh, Lili Dawa he quote for us, Yuharrifun al Kalum. If you go and read the interpretation, you will see they are changing the meaning, the interpretation, not even the location of the words. In their interpretation. Because the Jew he did not change anything, he just put his finger, so he's trying to hide the meaning where it says stone her. Or stone them. In fact, the one who try to hide the hole is the Muslims. Where is the verses of stoning to death? We can't find in the Torah until now the verses of stoning to death. How come we cannot find it in the Quran? 
the Muhammadan they say it's abrogated by recitation but not by ruling have you ever heard of a logic that there is a God he wants you to follow the law but he delete the law so you cannot read the law why do you understand how is such an important command a capital punishment stoning to death you say to me it's abrogated by recitation why why you want to do that especially you still need to follow it does it make sense to you guys imagine we make a law and then we erase the law from our book yet we are required to follow the law does that make any sense so they don't want to agree that the Quran obviously is destroyed what they have is what they have and I showed you tons of time proofs of that in the book of Asuyuti he said that what we have of the Quran is what we were able to collect only only he said don't say we have the Quran say we have what we are able to have do we have any Muhammadan look like somebody trying to contact me but doesn't look like uh, he's a Muslim I want to talk to you for debate my Muslim friend he is very eager to prove me okay I'm typing Arabic to him you have a Muslim want to debate me Don't ask me messages says when you can. Just let the person call me. Tell him, hey, this guy, when he's live, call him. There's no need for a drama of when, how, you know, when I'm live. Very easy. Right? Hello? Oi, oi, oh. huh. <laughs> continue, continue, continue. Is, is making a sound of the donkey. I, I did not. I did not. I did not hear you. Say, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. What? I did not hear you. No way. You are. You. You are so good at making the voice of a donkey, man. Hold on, hold on, you know what? I want to tell you a secret. All this time, nobody was able to hear you. So now I'm going to make you be heard. Can you say it again? Yango. <laughs> He's making the sound of a donkey all this time. And he thinks that all of you are hearing him, you know? <laughs> Do you see how the Muslim refute me? They make a voice of a donkey. Uh, I mean, you cannot beat that. And I keep saying to him, I cannot hear you. And he, he go louder. You know, he go louder. And I say, what? You, what? I cannot hear you. You know, from your side, you guys, you cannot hear him. Uh, but <laughs> And he think like he's disturbing our program. We just laugh at you and your prophet stupidity. Do we have any brave Muhammad and he have the courage and the knowledge to call me live on air? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Call me once and let us see if you will leave Islam or not. Anyone? Any Muhammadan? Any brave Muhammadan?
Nobody? What happened to the warriors of Allah? And the Quran, the amazing book. But you know what? I think we should take the advice of Lili Dawa. Why we have take anything from the Quran as something we should understand? I mean, all of us, we knew that this is a book nobody can understand. It's a stupid book made by a stupid man claiming that Allah, he explained the Quran by himself. But the second we start reading, if we can't even read it, we will find that this book doesn't make any sense. It's a stupid. It's a dummy. It's made by a dummy. And the funny is, the Muhammadan, they say to you, can you make Quran like this Quran? Are you asking me to make Quran like the Quran making Muslims leave Islam? Is that exactly what the request? But I'm doing that every day without lying. Those stupid Muslims, they try to comprehend. I mean, do you see the mistake you are doing? You try to comprehend. That is a sin. Haram. Haram. Chapter 5, verse 101 says, you cannot take, you cannot ask questions. Verse 102, it says, why? Because if you do, you will become the same as those who left Islam. Ask no questions. Those stupid people, they try to comprehend. But isn't it the Quran says, we send you the book as a guidance? So how this can be a guidance book without comprehending the guidance? Isn't it this is happening for a guidance reason? Isn't it this is to warn us for guiding reason? So how we can be warned if we cannot comprehend? And yet the book says we explain this book in details. This is what the Quran is saying. Yeah, and uh, he changed the Quran now. They are in the cave. I challenged Lili Dawa to show us the cave. You know, Lili Dawa is a monkey. He claimed to be a donkey. The idiot, the story is in the chapter of the cave, but the one who was in the cave is not Gog and Magog. It's the seven sleepers. Potato. And look, look, guys. Uh, this is Qurnayn. Look, he is wearing the Islamic clothes and he is building the dam. You see the dam? Look, look at the dam. Look, 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 look. Building the wall against Yog, Yagug and Magog. Painting by Qasim, 16th century in the British Library. This is a Muslim, he decided. Isn't it painting is haram? You kafir, isn't it painting is haram? Isn't it your prophet? He said that the one who make a painting, Allah will bring him in the day of judgment and he will ask him to blow in it, which means to make it the painting alive as Allah did. He blew in Adam. Allah will send him to hell. So you are a Muslim following Muhammad, displacing a painting of A'uzu Billah Zul Kurnain. What the heck? Is that Prophet Muhammad? I thought cartoon is haram. Ah, uh, part of it is not authentic. Part, listen, you know, he, he started giving fingers now to the scholars. My part of it, not authentic, not authentic. And, and look how he moved his eyes, like, you know, you know, an act of a, of a, of a scammer. What does that mean? What do you mean part of it is not authentic? In Al-Bukhari not authentic? Sahih Muslim not authentic? Huh? What? So are you saying to us, you Muslims, you have tons of stories are not authentic, huh? Well, I don't want to get into that, man. I mean, he can, but he don't want. There's a huge difference between he can 
and he cannot and he can and he don't want oh you cannot hear his voice sorry sorry I, it's my fault it's my fault yeah I, you know I muted the guy when he was doing the the donkey song you know it's my fault okay now I will play for you yeah he, he, he he's even making business selling things each time he go in the in the channel let your cat enjoy some nice food Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends welcome once again to my channel Yajuj and Majuj Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about them in the Quran and they are mentioned specifically in a hadith brothers and sisters now one thing that a lot of people make a mistake which I've seen you know people of knowledge is that they try to comprehend and understand how is who is Yajuj and Majuj where are they how could they stay in a cave for so long and dig 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 and just when they're about to come out and obviously there's it should, some say there's it should be Gog in the cave etc., some parts of it you know are not authentic whatever it may be I'm not trying to get into that okay part of it is not authentic part of it part I mean you eat it you strip it if part of the hadith is not authentic that will make the whole hadith not authentic I mean how those guys they filter their religion when they want it's authentic when they want it's not authentic the band the band in how stupid it is okay it's not authentic it's in Sahir Bukhari not authentic like you are you authentic I bet you you are made in China go ahead you know and then um, Qarnain and you know there's so many speculations etc and a lot of people come and they're like some people even get into doubt with this matter some individuals even leave Islam and I'm like no way Some individual they leave Islam, but by the way, they do that because they have intimacy with women. They want to have intimacy with women, not because uh, uh, um, uh, he was talking about Zul Qurnain, Gog, and Magog, and okay, and because of that, some people leave Islam, and then suddenly he making about intimacy with women. What's the issue here? Let me tell you guys the crux of the matter because there are a lot of people and a lot of individuals who have tried to make people understand this and even push the narrative of these certain ex Muslims, you know, that you know. People uh, are leaving Islam because of this, apparently, yeah? uh, which I just heard one individual, and most of his reasons were because. But, but, but what, 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 what? what uh, I'm going to activate uh, the subtitle. This guy, he's speaking from. What, what you said? And most of his reasons were because, you know, he couldn't have intimacy with a lot of What? What? Hold on. And I don't know why the the text is highlighted like this. We can't see it. Is that normal? Okay, I don't know. You know, people uh, are leaving Islam because of this apparently, yeah? Uh, which I just heard one... In it's a bad idea? People leave Islam, which is a bad idea? Which is what? and most of his reasons were because you know he couldn't have intimacy with a lot of girls or something there's a person who left Islam because he could not have intimacy with a girl are you serious hey Dawa do you have a medical report is that what happened to your prophet he could not have intimacy with Aisha he says he used to imagine himself having sex in fact he could not and when Aisha she put his her hand in his hair he says oh <clears throat> did your shaitan come to you what the heck? Her shaitan come to her. She want to have sex, don't she? What the heck? The wife she want to have sex, the husband don't want. Shaitan come to her. What do you know? The hair. Let us go there. Hmm. Now I know why Kojak is bold. He don't want his wife to come and play with his hair. That means she want to have sex. Mm. Look, look at this. What embarrassing. Embarrassing. I look at the messenger of Allah and I put my hand on his hair. He said, Ha! Ha ha! Your shaitan has come to you. Hmm? Ah, she said, I do not have shaitan. You, what? You, don't you have shaitan? He said, yes, yes, I have shaitan. 
but Allah helped me against him and he converted to Islam. So now, if you want to have sex with your wife, shaitan is the behind the scene. Let us be honest with you. If you are a male and your wife, she put her hand on your hair. Take take an take aside Sam Shamun. You know, we cannot ask him for that. So if you have hair, let us say, how many of you your wife she put her hand in your hair? Hmm? Do you know what is the reason? Do you know what is behind the act of your wife? You don't know. But now we know. It is shaitan. It sounds like it turned to be that if a man want to have sex with his wife and he touch her, shaitan is making you do that. I thought Allah wanted you to have sex with your wife. And the wife, I mean, this is not a girlfriend, this is the wife. So why shaitan? Stupid, idiot. How this can be from shaitan? And now Muhammad, he claimed that the shaitan of Aisha is a shaitan. His shaitan is a Muslim shaitan. So the shaitan of Aisha, obviously, he was trying or struggling with the shaitan with of Allah Prophet. Because the shaitan of Allah Prophet, he converted to Islam. In different hadith, Muhammad, he says, he command me not but to do good. So the shaitan of Aisha is evil. He make Aisha horny. She want to play with his hair. And I should say to him, you hypocrite, don't you have a shaitan too? Oh, you little naughty boy, you forgot what you did to me last night? Hmm? Did you forget when I sat there and you told me, don't worry, this is nothing, I thought it's a snake? Hmm? What the heck is that? Do we have any Muhammadan? Maybe, maybe, how do you do? Anyone? Okay, there is somebody he claimed to be a Muslim. Let us see. I have my table making noise. I, I hope it's not. Maybe I should uh, do something to it. You know, it make noise. I'm calling this Muslim. Maybe we get Muslim at least for today. <coughs> But he's not answering. Maybe he's asleep. I don't know. It says he's uh, online. Anyway. Uh, any Muslim? You hear it? You hear it? You hear the sound? Oh, look. Is that annoying? I would. If, I, if it's annoying, I would do it more. <laughs> oh, boy. And yeah, by the way, as long as Aisha, she was playing with the hair of the Prophet, how many lies she catched when she was playing with his head? Muhammad he claimed that Allah, he make a trial, the most hard trial on the Prophet by lies. Have you ever heard of a Prophet being tried by his God by lies? There's a, there's a guy, uh, his name is Osama Abdullah. This many years ago, he want to get me busted, you know, so he come to my chat room. At that time, I used to be in like in Pal Talk. He took the microphone. He said, the Christian Prince, you Christians don't even take a shower. You are full of lies. I said, are you saying the one who is full of lies is dirty? He said, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> then I showed him the hate about his prophet full of lies. You should see what happened. He said, the prophet is different story. Okay, the story uh, prophet uh, is different. Oh, uh, yeah, a second ago was the one who applies is filthy. A second after, the one who applies is a blast from Allah. You know, this is why in uh, Dubai they have a market for lies. I'm serious. And the Muslim they claim that lies can help your hair. This is why the lies was helping the hair of the Prophet.
What is the price of the lies? I don't know if we can find this news in uh, in Arabic, in English, sorry. But maybe you can search for it. This is was published. Let me translate. I mean, it, uh, everybody knows about it. Translation is coming wrong. In Dubai, a loss is 14 dirham. You know? So now in the saloon in Dubai, you have to pay for lice if you want it to be in your hair. Okay? The Emirat Today website, quoting workers in women barbershop confirm that they have uh, uh, there is a tendency among some women to buy lies because they believe that it increase hair and now we knew why the prophet has a lot of lies in his head how you can i mean you can tell that the prophet he think about every aspect of life even lies was useful for him me lies upon him you know yeah do we have any Mohammedan all right look like there's nobody I hope today we have a good time feel free to download my videos and the ones who say they promise they will make a short video exposing Lili Dawa none of you send me a link about that video so if you did send it to me the one who promised otherwise I have to make my own make something short people can share around I want to say thank you guys for being here I hope you enjoy your time you learn something good and as you see Muslims are leaving Islam left and right not only you know it's not I'm not the major reason for Muslim to leave Islam it's the stupidity of Muhammad it is the stupidity of Muhammad I'm not the one who made him come with his stories I'm not the one who made him publish those stories. It's not me who taught him those stories. The voice is off again. Let us do it again. Yeah, the voice. We want... When I... Uh, Majuj is actually, for our modern times, I would say one of the most, if not the most problematic of the signs of Judgment Day. And it has caused many of our youth to question, to doubt. I myself have met people that have actually left Islam. And if you watch the video yourself, you will see that he himself obviously have a doubt about this, the whole story. So he was saying to them, if you really think that there is really a wall, as in the Quran, eh, well, this is up to you. Obviously, you don't believe in it, period. So as you see, even their shakes, they are shaking their head up and down. As the song says, I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see, a bunch of idiots around me believe in Quran, believe in Muhammad, believe in Gog and Magog. Oh, what I can see, a bunch of fairy tale stories. What the heck must be true? Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, this is your brother, Christian Prince, who was serving you for today humbly. Until we see you soon, maybe tomorrow. God is willing. Take care.